Hello, this is Abdul Mati Asiri. I would like to welcome you in another Boeing 737 video tutorial. This video is the seventh in the series talking about the approach and landing in the Boeing 737 for new pilots. And in this video, we'll talk about three points. The first one is the best technique, in my opinion, for uh, or you to use the stop jump for new pilots. And the second point, we'll talk about recycling flight directors when you are pilot motoring. And the last point, we'll talk about the uh, 1,000 feet call and check. So regarding the step trim, when you disengage the autopilot and auto throttle, as you know, new pilots tend to over control the airplane, and one of the things that they tend to over control is the uh, step trim. So the technique that I'm talking about, uh, especially for new pilots, when you apply the step trim, let's say I want to apply a uh, nose up step trim. So I'm gonna hold the stop trim, but before reaching the point that I think I need, I'm gonna stop. And the reason for that is to let the airplane respond to the stop trim input and then assess, do I need more stop trim nose up? Then I can apply it in increments. If not, then I can stop. Uh, again, what happens with new pilots is they, they will be holding on the stop trim. Let's, let's assume now uh, a nose down stop trim. They tend to hold the, uh, the stop trim on nose down uh, waiting for the airplane to respond and when the airplane start to respond they stop by that time the, it's going to be too late because the airplane will be responding more than you want it to and then what end up happening is you need to immediately apply step trim in the opposite direction 1000 so again uh, just apply the step trim and before reaching the point that you think you need stop and then wait for for a while see if you do you need to apply more step trim then by all means Again, this is not a, a major point, but just uh, a technique that might be helpful for you. For the uh, second point, recycling the flight directors. Again, let's assume that the pilot flying is the captain and that's why the uh, master FCC light is eliminated on the left side. And let's say the captain flying disengaged the autopilot and then he requested the flight directors to be recycled. So pilot monitoring flight director first off and then you go to the pilot flying flight director off and then on and then return back to the pilot monitoring flight director on now the reason to do it this way is first you need to have both of the flight directors off at the same time to be able to remove the uh, the uh, crossbar or the B bar from the PFD and then when you turn them on, you want to have the master FCC light illuminated on the pilot flying side. So that's why it is uh, the first flight director, you turn it back on. And then you turn back to your flight director on. So again, pilot monitoring flight director off. And then pilot flying flight director off, on. And then pilot monitoring flight director on. In my opinion, this is the smoothest way to recycle the flight directors and you can do it by just using one hand. So for the uh, third uh, point for this video, which is the 1000 feet call, as you know, the 1000 feet call out is recommended by Boeing in the FCTM call out section. And the 1000 feet is called above field elevation, which is indicated by the top of the white line here in the altimeter. The uh, GB was automatic call is out of the uh, radio altimeter so if you want to be technically correct even if you are on a flat terrain then your 1000 feet call should be out of the uh, top of the white line and the altimeter Now, if, if the call is uh, part of your company uh, procedure, then comply with your company procedure. If it is not, then I suggest you get into the habit of the following check, even if you don't have to call the 1000 feet. But again, if you have any special procedures for your company, then the best way is just to comply with your company procedures and policies. So for us, the 1000 feet call is 1000 feet altimeters and the instruments cross-checked missed approach altitude is set. So 1000 feet, altimeters and instruments. So we'll start with the altimeters. 
first as a pilot monitoring I'll check that I have set the correct altimeter here and it is the latest altimeter that I got from radar because sometimes even below transition level uh, the altimeter might be updated and so I check my notes to see the latest altimeter that I got and then to verify that I have set it there now after I do that I glance at the standby altimeter and the left side altimeter as well just to make sure that all the three altimeters are set again correctly and for the latest uh, QNH so this is for the altimeters instruments cross check mainly for me personally I will go and check the PFD of the other pilot just to make sure that everything there is normal and the second thing is I'll do a quick uh, scan for the five screens just to make sure that everything is normal so this is for me the uh, instruments cross check so altimeters and instruments cross check and the last item is Mr. Approach Altitude Set. What I do is I verify that the correct Mr. Approach Altitude Set as per the procedure that uh, we are flying or the approach that we are flying. So it is the correct Mr. Approach Altitude that is indicated in the approach chart. Uh, so again, if you have this uh, call in your company, then comply with your company policies and procedures. If you don't have it, and you don't have any check that uh, you are required to do by your company at 1000 feet above field elevation then I suggest even if you don't have to call just to get into the habit of uh, doing those checks uh, so this uh, concludes uh, this video as usual if you have any questions comments or concerns please let me know and until next time this is Abdul Mati Asiri wish you safe flying and smooth landing thank you for watching